We just talked about the uh, tensiometer and the G-dot giving us a reading either in centibar or kilopascal or dots and those uh, readings are helpful but they are not really related to your specific soil and the cane growth stage things like trash blanket all those things uh, play a bit of a role and uh, to relate all those things we calibrate the g dot or tensiometer against the cane growth so what happens is uh, you start with a full irrigation where the soil gets fully wetted up and that's normally a surplus of water there's not enough air in the soil so for that reason the cane stops or slows down growth and basically from the day of that irrigation you do daily measurements of the length of the cane sticks and then uh, record the growth over time so to do that i've marked cane sticks that i want to measure in the real world you go inside the block again to get representative sticks that are not affected by special influences on the outside but with a camera it's hard to follow so we do it a bit like this i marked some sticks in the real world i would do about 20 sticks to get a good sample all sizes smaller ones bigger ones get a good average then on the base of each stick i put an old bottle cup place that a bit in the soil to have a steady starting point and i measure the length of the cane stick up to the last visible dewlap that's where that last leaf is visibly attached to the cane you see this little ring going around so from the first day on every day roughly around the same time of the day i come out here prepared a measuring stick with centimeter markings and put the bottom of the stick into my bottle cap and then take the reading up to that last dewlap here in this case that's about 1.65 meters and then i write that down go to the next stick do it again here it's on a bit of an angle about here 1.6 meter and do that 20 times those readings are added up i get an average write that number down and that's my measurement for today then i'll come back tomorrow same time of the day do the same measurement over time the cane will start growing again as the soil gets a bit of air into it it goes from almost zero growth to probably around in a good sunny day 40 sometimes even more millimeters per day of growth so if you write down the numbers every day you'll find that at some stage after four or five days probably you'll peak the growth hits an upper limit and from there on as the soil dries out and water gets harder to extract the growth will slow down so you keep measuring and when your if your peak for example was 40 mils you keep measuring until you reach half of that peak as your average growth so from 40 to 20. at those 20 mils it's time to put the next irrigation on so i could come back after the next irrigation and measure again and do that every time that's obviously a lot of work with a g-dot installed i'll just have a look on the g-dot in this case obviously not fully installed but showing three dots if on my 10th day for example when i reach half peak growth my g-dot shows three dots i then in the future only look at the g-dot and every time it reaches three dots i know i reach that half growth point and it's time to irrigate so that's basically the calibration of a g-dot that takes into consideration the specific soil type and all other aspects yeah so i started uh, farming in the burdekin 2015 came from childers down there we used traveling irrigators and were always behind watering so uh, basically you were never too early you were always too late in the burdekin with the flood irrigation i put 100 mils on which is plenty and uh, then uh, i was wondering when i should come back and uh, initially i just guessed i didn't have much experience so then i was told to use these g dots 
It was a bit of an experience using them the first year because I realized that especially after harvest or planting in young cane, I was previously over irrigating. The soil wasn't as dry as I thought. Whereas uh, at the summer peak, I wasn't irrigating enough and basically lost growth that way. So uh, this is the most simple technology that we offer within that Burdekin irrigation project. It's just something that helps you to find the right start date for your irrigation.